Okay, so we have a, another terrific session just before the break. We're going to break for lunch uh, at 1.30, but before we do that, we have a session on interfaith dialogue, which Kate will talk a little bit about. Okay, so one of the issues that was raised in the, um, the global consultation process as something that people all over the world in your age group were particularly concerned about and believed that there were certain issues that needed to be addressed and certain things that actually contributed to problems and particularly to poverty. So environment was obviously one and interfaith dialogue was the other. And so I'm now going to ask uh, the fantastic counselors who are going to lead the session on interfaith dialogue to come on stage. And the first man needs absolutely no introduction. He kind of brought the house down uh, last night with his amazing uh, speech. It's Nobel Peace Laureate Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And I know he's here because I was just talking to him. <laughs> They're all chatting out in the back. Here he comes. So a very big round of applause. <laughs> you have more energy than me. <laughs> I'm just going to have a seat in the middle. It'll be fantastic. And the next councillor onto the stage I'd like to welcome is Ken Costa. Born in South Africa, where he was president of the Students' Union, just like Nick Hasem was, and was also active in the student protest movements against apartheid in the 60s and 70s. He is also the chairman of Lazard International, the great bank, and also the chairman of Alpha International. Ken. Ken. Grab a, grab a seat in the middle. Um, next up, we have Yasmin Alibi Brown. Uh, she came to the UK in 1972 from Uganda. She's an award winning writer um, and she's uh, a feminist who has furiously criticized some forms of, uh, of anti racism, of feminism, and it's basically sp exposing what she sees as a lot of the hypocrisies. Um, she's a Muslim calling for reformation and a British citizen who battles for real equality for immigrants and their children. Very good to see you. And the next councillor we're welcoming is Casper Melville, who's from South London. He's also currently the editor of the new Humanist magazine. He's a PhD from Goldsmith College in the history of interracial dance music scenes in London. And he also contributes to The Guardian. Casper. Hey, Casper. Good to see you. And then. Uh, a man who is not only an amazing footballer, but an amazing person. Clarence Seedorf has played for AC Milan since 2002. He's unbelievably gifted as a footballer, but he's also got a heart this big, and you can tell that when you first meet him. He was one of the first people, he was actually the first sporting person to come on board and actually join us in the Tick, Tick, Tick campaign. And he's, he's created Champions for Children, which is all about supporting and improving the living conditions for, for poor kids around the world. So uh, Clarence, would you like to come and join us? Okay, so um, talking about the global consultation process now, um, so not to have to go through this again, but um, if you look at the, if we could have the chart up, can we? It's yes, there. we can. So again here, 84% agreeing or strongly agreeing that in the belief that war must never be, yeah, in the belief that war must never be carried out in the name of religion. So if you look at the top there, okay, strong point, but many of you around the world felt that this was the big one. We know that this is difficult, so let's have a look at the resolution. So the resolution is, in the belief that war must never be carried out in the name of religion, we call upon leaders and followers of all faiths to unequivocally commit to deliver peace among nations, races, and creeds. And as we said, this was based on the global poll, 
and was drafted by Ian Golden of the 21st Century School at Oxford and approved by Nick Hasem. Okay, and the Related Millennium Development Goal, a commitment from the delegates that in their daily and religious and or spiritual practice they act with peace and compassion to all faiths, that's from Karen Armstrong, and also support for global faith leaders driving towards peace and censuring those who encourage conflict and killing in the name of religion.